Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Matt M and for today's video, we'll be doing ASCTI tips. Uh, some of these are things that I did, I learned after. So I'll be sharing it to all of y'all so that you can, all of y'all, y'all, so that you can learn from our mistakes. Yes, because we learn from our mistakes, life lessons. I'll be dividing the tips that I did into pre-exam tips, exam tips, and then post-exam tips. So yeah, let's get started. Pre-exam, tip number one is to allot time for the Lord. I actually have been doing this before this whole exam ordeal because I am a spiritual person and I believe that there's a higher power above me and I think that I can do anything through Him. I do a short devotional before I review. I recommend praying, doing some yoga, or anything that will keep your sanity in check. So with all the short devotionals that I did, I established a mantra type of thing whenever I feel nervous I just keep repeating these four little letters it's T W B D and it stands for thy will be done it's loosely based on Jeremiah 29 11 well my interpretation of Jeremiah 29 11 everyone wants peace during the exam so that they can remember everything that they studied for second tip it's visualizing your goal I advise writing your goals down on a piece of paper where you can always see it I don't know if this will work on you but it worked for me sometimes you just feel like you're very exhausted and you don't know why you're doing all this you just want to take a nap when you see what lies at the end of the tunnel then you'll remember why you're doing this long nights of studying I did this for the longest time but a lost the paper and then a very good friend gifted me this personalized planner where I can always see my goal because if you don't know yet I'm a big planner person and it looks something like this it says my name these two goals represents what I wanted to accomplish the first one is to be an RMT which I did and then after that I took the ASCPI exam seeing this sparks a very good memory that you can accomplish your goals and then seeing it on paper makes it real the whole 2019 was just focused on a lot of reviewing a lot of burning the midnight oil a lot of sunog kilay memories so 2019 was a good year the next tip that I want to share is you should make a doable review schedule. By tip number two, I think it's already common knowledge that I use a planner a lot. Having that said, with the planner, you should strategize your battle plan. That's your review schedule. Things that I usually do is that my first day with questionnaires, I usually target 50 questions and then the next day I will just add increasing increments of 10. It will be hard at first tackling a handful of questions but by the end you'll train your test taking skills. Which which is important if you're taking that test and then seven days before the exam I should have been rewiring my body back to my normal circadian rhythm by the day of the exam I don't have to sleep late because you cannot train your body like that to sleep early and then one day before the exam I usually have a strict no studying rule because you already strategized your battle plan you should just focus on sleep pray positive vibes you can do this and you will pass so tip number four, reward small victories no matter how small, no matter how big, whether you top that quiz on your review center or whether you finish 50 questions in a day, you should reward those victories because it will keep you motivated to study more and study again for the next day. As an example, I am a big fries and milk tea guy. Whenever I do pass or whenever I finish my goal for the day, I always reward myself with some fries and some milk tea and oh my gosh, it feels like all your efforts are valid and remember everything should be kept in moderation if you see that you are trending down into a decline then maybe you should make a new reward strategy so that you can reach your goal tip number five is to check your requirements so actually you don't have to bring a lot for the exam you only have to bring a valid ID and this was my bag during the exam it's this green bag i just brought simple things i had a water bottle because you are allowed to take breaks i also brought gum because if you know me i am a gum person i also did bring a snack too it was a granola bar i brought my planner as i usually do i brought 
uh, valid ID, which is something that they actually require you to bring. I brought my passport. I also brought a pen. I actually did bring my exam permit as well, but it is not required. But my mom was so insistent for me to bring it because it's really hard to go back and forth from my little province back to the big city. You can bring your phone and then keep it on the lockers. My phone that time was this banged up iPhone 5S. You can see why it's banged up because it kind of looks like that. <laughs> That was my phone during that time. Oh my gosh, I have so many memories with this iPhone 5. Actually, before the exam, my parents were with me. But when I was taking the exam, they went back to the hotel so that they can relax. After the exam, I had to walk all the way back to the hotel. But I got lost. And luckily, I have my phone with me. So I took a grab home. <laughs> so I am really bad at commute. So that's basically all the essentials that I brought during the exam. Next tip is to visit the testing site. I don't know about the Cebu testing site but I know about the Makati testing site. So a couple of days before the test you should practice commuting if you plan on commuting, if you plan on staying over within the Makati area which we did. It's also nice to out for cheap hotels that you can stay the night before the exam so that you don't have to commute because if you don't know yet Makati traffic is really terrible with you knowing that already you should plan your strategy the next tip is sleep i cannot emphasize this enough but i am a really anxious person usually the day before the exam i find it really hard to sleep so what i usually do is like 5 p.m 6 p.m ish i usually lay in bed already i don't usually put my phone near me lights off completely and then i wear an eye mask actually my good friend from internship did tell me this that the rule number one before doing anything is to breathe in breathe out and then relax I did not know that it would be such a mind-blowing life lesson for me because I tend to stress and fuss over the little things in life. Exam day tips. Eat your breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. So if you plan on taking your exam on the morning part of the day because the only thing you should be focused about is not your urgencies but the exam. Tip number two is to do number two. How relevant. <laughs> and since you're already in the restroom, do the number one as well. Because like me, you might be restroom shy. As a med tech, you should delta check the things that you have. At least your things are good and ready to go. Arrive 30 minutes early for the exam because you have to do the pre-registration phase. They will check your ID and they will also take your biometrics. There's a process before going through the actual exam. Tip number five is to check the supplies that they have given you. They will actually give you a whiteboard marker and calculator. It's not scientific. So if you do have to use a certain specific formula, then you should have it here because you reviewed and you're ready. Tip number six is to remember that you can take a break but remember that the exam continues while you're taking a break. The timer will not stop. If you do have some spare time, then that's the time that you should do some light snacking or if you're thirsty, then quench that thirst. But during my case, I did not take a break. It's more of a preference because I'd rather review my answers. Do not second guess your answers because your gut is usually right. Just go back to the answers that you flagged because you can actually skip questions and flag it. I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, but this is what I did. I'm just sharing my experience so that people who have not done it yet will have a little idea of the struggle that I faced. After taking the test, oh my gosh, the sun won again. I'm so sorry, everyone. Anyways, read every slide. I think I have stressed this enough from my previous videos because there is this one specific slide where it will give you a preliminary result of the exam that you just took. It will just show a pass or a fail. And if you do miss that slide, you will go through an agonizing seven-ish days before getting an actual email so that you can view your results so save yourself the trouble and read every slide so if you cannot believe it make a double take so if you see pass just see it again you just passed then believe it <laughs> for my next tip you should know the difference between membership and certification membership is renewed 
every single year. And certification is renewed every three years. There's a difference. I will make a separate video. This is where you have to take the CMP units. CMP units are pretty much like the CPD units that we have in the Philippines and it's pretty much like the CE units that we have here in California. So if you don't have access to international CMP units, then ASCPI is offering their own take within the CMP units. So you can take what they have which is fine it's by ASCP and you are renewing your ASCP license and it makes sense to use their own service I am not saying that luck isn't in your favor but if worse comes to worse and luck isn't in your favor then remember that you can take the exam after the 90 day period that I told you to keep in trap basically you can take the exam after three ish months but I'm pretty sure you will pass because you strategize, visualize, and pray hard enough. No matter what the result of the exam is, it will not define you. The most important thing is you did your best. And remember that nothing worthwhile ever comes easy. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It will really help me a lot. I wish you well. I rest my case.